To the front row fanatics, we are going to be doing a review of Ultimate Wrestling's last show, Retribution, that took place September 4th at Ultimate, as I like to call it, Ultimate Legion Post 33 in Pensacola, Florida. And sadly, due to unfortunate circumstances, I was not able to attend this, uh, shall we say, groundbreaking show that took place with all the various roster turnover and turmoil and changes. You stirred up a hornet's nest, didn't you? Yes, I Literally. did. And them son of bitches were stinging me in my head, too. So, <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't get to make this show, but, you know, my tag team partner here, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Internet, was able to be there. So we're going to go ahead and start with our review of Retribution that took place on the 4th. <laughs> All right, first and foremost, I want to uh, address something here. You know, I was a little skeptical going into this show. Anytime you have a big roster turnover, <laughs> it's very difficult for a promotion to rebound after that. I mean, already Ultimate's roster was very deep, and it was read like a who's who on the Gulf Coast. So before we get into the actual review, everybody, I want you to raise your glass, whatever you got, and have a toast to absent friends. We love all you guys. We spent the better part of two years watching you entertain us. And uh, I'm talking like they're not going to be out. They'll, 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 pop, they'll pop up again in some promotion here or abroad. And I urge everybody to go check them out. Now, with that being said, I want to talk about the relaunch, if you will, of Ultimate Wrestling Retribution. Uh, going into this, it was a packed house, uh, a good lighthearted atmosphere, which is essential to any wrestling show. And the show started out with a real downer, a Bobby Doll promo, in which he stated <laughs> he wanted Uncle Jim in the ring, mano a mano. Oh, come hey. on now. That's that's stupid low for someone of Bobby Dahl's stature to stoop down to wanting to beat up on Uncle Jim now. I mean, Well, to his credit, Uncle Jim came down to the ring and said, you know what, I'll do it. Diana Drake Hurst was there. She said she would get the paperwork arranged. So later in the night, we would see Bobby Dahl versus Uncle Jim. Well, Uncle Jim's got way more celifante, man. He ain't fearing no Bobby Dahl. <laughs> Bobby, you lost some respect for that, in my personal opinion. 
Well, after that, we go on to match number one. This was a, th uh, excuse me, I got ahead of myself. Match number one, Pitted, the guy that's captured the imagination of everybody on the Gulf Coast, the suicidal soldier, Tommy Hill, taking on number one karate man, soul brother number one, the Ding Dong from Hong Kong, Buddha Bushido. Yeah, Buddha! <laughs> yeah, My masked brother. Buddha did not get any offense in this match. Uh, he came around, got a little excited at ringside, laid a headbutt on me, which incapacitated me. He was out on the floor. Uh, it took referee Danny Wright, I believe, and uh, Tommy Hill to roll him back in the ring. Tommy Hill was going to pin him, but you know what? Tommy Hill isn't that kind of guy. He decided to give us our money's worth. He laid a phoenix splash on him. One, two, three. Sweet, as once again it appears... Buddha's uh, attempts at breaking the fastest match record for Ultimate Wrestling was in vain. Still hasn't beat the Turbo Turds record there. <laughs> you know, that's right, I'm bringing it out, TT. I'm talking to you. So, uh, <laughs> But, you know, I like Buddha. You know, we just have to wait and see. He's got to get on one of them egg rolls, you know, or something to, <laughs> right. to, 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 get, to get into victory there. But uh, I, Well, you know, we really can't say we've actually seen him in an extended match, but I enjoy his entrance 100%. You know, it takes him about six, seven minutes for his entrance and about ten seconds for his actual match. Well, other than his uh, initial debut in that Battle Royal thing there, That's he, right. he did stay in there for quite a while. He was uh, one of the, I believe, the first one in and uh, the third to the last out. Now, I heard tell it's your fault he won He lost that match. Yeah, well, if so, hey, I apologize. I'm a B Buddha Bushido fan. No doubt, so. but that's what you get when you mess with the front row fanatic. And you better be <laughs> glad that you didn't come over there and try and headbutt me because I leaped over that ring and <laughs> rolled you back there to PP3 in the back, brother. That's all I got to say. <laughs> all right, Smarky well. Smarkerton. <laughs> all right, coming up next, we had a, a three-way match which pitted Justin Overstreet versus Rex Andrews versus one of your personal favorites, Scotty Rays. Absolutely. And we're already getting the two-minute sign, but what we'll do is a couple of new guys in this match... Uh, Scotty Ray's always, you know, look at, from, from the get-go, he was the odds-on favorite to win. But uh, to my chagrin, Justin Overstreet won the three-way match. Well, that, that uh, really surprises me, considering uh, Justin Overstreet, shall we say, lack of experience compared to Scotty Ray's right. and uh, Rex Andrews, who I've not seen. I've seen Justin Overstreet in video before. That would have totally shocked me if I was there seeing Scotty Ray's get pinned by Justin Overstreet. But, you know, he seems to be a fairly talented and up-and-coming youngster on the Gulf Coast. He's been working all over on various promotions. Uh, if you're going to do that, crawl under the table here. Thank you very much. So, uh, you know. Well, anyway, i got to point out, Justin Overshoot won with what I can only call a modified bruiser face. That's what it looked like to me, or kind of a modified de-evolution. Okay. Until we, until we, you know, these are new guys, so until we know the actual names of these, we're going to have to go by what we know. Absolutely. Until he tells us what he calls that finishing move, what can we say? But i got to say, Scotty Ray's looked uh, fabulous, as he always does. Rex Andrews looked pretty good, and just another street with the win. All right. Well, with that being said, we're getting that nasty finger side again from the producer, so we're going to take a break. Yeah, right back at you. We love you, too.